This eight-bedroom, ten-and-a-half bath Portobello estate is 30,000 square feet. Okay, here's some perspective. Your average 2,400-square-foot house fits in here. How many levels of the house are there? There are two levels. Where are the bedrooms? The primary living area is on the upper level. The upper level, which is really the street level, and the master suite? Off limits. They're on double secret probation. That means for serious buyers only. Now what part of the house is this officially? This is called the pool house. So there's a kitchenette and you could, you know, make refreshments or drinks, snacks. Or have someone make them for you. Yeah. Is this the living room? This is the living room. Wow. What kind of fireplace is this? Is this marble? That's granite. This is granite and it's just, yeah. it's stacked? Yeah, so what they did, you know, they sculpted the shape in a CAD system, right, on a computer. Right. And then they took that shape and then they sliced it into lots of layers. Oh, my God. So, I mean, this is like, this is an expensive feature. There's an even bigger Morales sculpture in the center of the staircase. Want one? That'll be hundreds of thousands of dollars, please. Cities across the country have bought sculptures of his with their parks and monuments. This is the formal dining room. The, the official dining room? Yeah, formal dining room right here. This is a very laid back feel to it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an open floor plan. We haven't gone through a single door inside yet. Right. Oh, I see. There, what's this? Right here. Okay, okay, there's a screen there that pops up. No. Yeah. Make it pop up. The partitions act as more privacy, especially at catered affairs. Is this like rich person sneeze guard? No. no. Let's say you're having a dinner party, you have your guests over here in the dining area, and you have a hired caterer that came for the evening. They can set up over there and prepare the food, and then you have a little more privacy here with the conversation. So from the kitchen, where do we go? Okay, this is the office. What's, what's the floor made out of? Leather. I was going to say. Yeah. Finally, something I could do in my home. This is about $10 a square foot. It smells like a brand new car in here. Yeah. We went outside to check out that million-dollar view. Wow. The beach is open to the public up to the high tide line. Somebody could come out here with a beach towel. Yeah, absolutely, and people do. All right, so if we walk back in this way, then we can uh, then we can get downstairs? Yes. Because we haven't even seen like all the entertainment stuff, have we? No, you haven't even seen half the house. Haven't seen half the house? How is that possible? We're going to drive into the house. Stay to the left. You want to stay on the tan part. Inside the garage is an elevator for the car. We walk downstairs, yes. and then... We'll bring the car down. And then press that button. Now, you or I might have a furnace in the basement. This guy has a 16-car showroom and mechanics bay. Cool. And a short drive away, there's the main drag of a small town in his basement. Hi, honey, I'm home. With the car valeted, Joe and I stroll down Portobello Lane. This whole street scene is modeled after the homeowner's hometown, Charleston, West Virginia, where he grew up. This is a cafe. It's actually got a working kitchen in it, right? Yeah. You know, you can make uh, milkshakes. There's a vintage milkshake machine. This is the Rialto Theater. This is amazing. Is there really a theater in here? Yeah, there is a theater in here. <laughs> There's a theater. Building a theater like this is going to cost you at least half a million dollars. Hey, I'll take two. This fully functional movie theater seats 12 in luxurious reclining lounge chairs. I feel like Cisco and Ebert. And if you're not in the mood for a movie... Beach bowling lanes? Yeah, just uh, two lanes of bowling. O only two lanes? Wow, but because of the mirror, it looks like a whole bunch. It's like, well, it looks like four. Yeah. Is this from a real bowling alley? Yeah, that's a real scoring console. <laughs> I mean, all the equipment is from a bowling alley. It's been refurbished and installed here in the house. Oh! Okay, so you want to make an offer? Well, if you've got the cash, you got to make an appointment with this guy. It's a good question who can afford this. I mean, it's starting to get out of reach for a lot of professional athletes and even movie stars. And it's really entrepreneurs, captains of industry that can afford this. So what's this going to ding you? Well, it's 30,000 square feet on three oceanfront lots. A nearby teardown on one lot just sold for $18 million. Location, location, location.
its eight bedrooms, a grotto with water slide, a fancy fireplace, and an elevator for your cars. Oh, and the main street of an entire small town. All for the low, low price of $75 million. <laughs> yeah!